Good day everyone and welcome to our class. For today, this will be the follow of discussion on Unit 1, Week 4 or the follow of discussion for the live stream that were done last Friday. So for today, we will be dealing with distinguishing mixtures from pure substance based on set of properties. So for us to start, I have here four pictures. This is the first three. The first three is the pure substances. And then the second one is the mixture. So, my kita nyo, dito sa pure substance, pure substance can be composed of either the same atom or elements. This one is molecule, and then this is a compound. So, we can say that pure substance can be an element, a molecule of the same element, or a molecule of a compound. When we say mixture, it is a combination of either elements or compound. So you will notice here, hindi siya nagahalo. Dito sa isa, magkakasama sila. Ito naman, pare-pareha sila. Parehas dito. So dito sa lesson natin ngayon, what you will know or understand is what are pure substances, what are mixtures, and how would you know if a substance is a pure substance or a mixture? Again, lahat ng ito are pure substance. Kasi pag sinabi natin substance, lahat ng bagay ay substance. It can be pure substance or mixture. Pag sinabi natin pure substance, is matter that is uniform and unchangeable composition. Ibig sabihin, alimbawa, pure water. Ang pure water has a chemical symbol of H2O. Ibig sabihin, uniform ang laman ng water. Dalawang hydrogen, isang oxygen. Kaya sinabi natin pure substance. Pag sinabi naman natin si water, this is an example of a mixture. Kasi it is not uniform. Kasi ang composition ng si water nakadepende kung saan kakukuha ng tubig. Halimbawa, kumuha ka ng tubig mula sa uh, malapit sa dagat. Yung isa malapit sa ibang lugar. Iba yung composition ng seawater mula dun sa malapit sa dagat. Iba, iba dun sa medyo malayo. Another definition of pure substances is it is uniform and unchanging. Ibig sabihin na uniform, pare-parehas. Unchanging, hindi nagbabago. Halimbawa, we have element. This is an example of a pure substance. Element, a pure substance that contains only one type of atom and cannot be further broken down. Halimbawa, iron, hydrogen, argon, these are examples of elements. Lahat na makikita nyo sa na nasa periodic table, lahat ng yun are examples of elements. And those are pure substances. Next one is compound. This is made up of two or more different elements. Kasi kapag pareha silang element, that is a molecule. Halimbawa, water is H2O. So, may kita nyo, meron siyang dalawang element, hydrogen and oxygen. Pag sinabi natin salt, NaCl, ayan. So, meron siyang dalawang element. Sodium and chlorine. You know, pure substance. Again, pure substance can either be element or compound. When that is a compound, it is chemically combined. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya madaling Mahiwalay. Here's an example of your substances. Ito, yung copper wire. Pag tinigyan mo ang copper wire, lahat ng atoms na nasa loob ng copper wire, iisa. Yan, wala siyang kahalo. Water. Pag tinigyan mo ang composition ng water, ito, dalawang hydrogen, isang oxygen. So, lahat yan, kahit napakarami ng tubig, ito ang composition niya. Salt. Asin. NaCl. So, itong dalawa na to, these are compounds. And then, this is an element. So, pare-pare silang pure substances. 
hindi na sila ngayon pwedeng paghiwalayin ng physical means. Napaghiwalay ang pure substance by means of chemical means. Okay? Next. Ito yung common examples ng mga compound. CaCO3 o yung ginagamit sa pagtuturo. Chok. Ang chemical name niya is calcium carbonate. CaCl2 o yung road salt. Calcium chloride. CO2, yung nilalabas natin, carbon dioxide. And then, common name, or chemical name is carbon dioxide also. CO2, pareha sila, but the other one is solid. That is dry ice. Yung solid na carbon dioxide, yun yung dry ice. And then, the chemical name is still carbon dioxide. HCl is also another example of common compound. Ito yung ginagamit sa pandinis ng CR, muriatic acid, or chemical name is called hydrochloric acid. At CO2, parehas na nung kanina, carbon dioxide, and then C6H12O6, dextrose. Yan, yung ginagamit sa may sakit. And then, glucose. CH3COOH, vinegar, at this CH3COOH is what we call as the acetic acid. Pag sinabi kasi natin vinegar, may halo na to. 5% lang na acetic acid ang hinahalo sa tubig para maging vinegar. Sa so lahat ng to examples of compounds. When we say mixtures, these are there are two or more substances that are combined. Pero hindi sila nag-combine Chemically, ibig sabihin, they are physically combined, they can be separated by physical means. Halimbawa, meron kang bato tsaka buhangin, that is a mixture, pero pwede mo pa rin paghiwalayin yung bato sa buhangin. We have two types of mixtures, heterogeneous and homogeneous mixture. Pag sinabi natin heterogeneous mixture, there are two or more substances mixed but not evenly distributed. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya magkahalo at dalawa at o tatlong phases ng matter ang nakikita ninyo. Halimbawa, granite, ito yung bato. Diba pag nakakita ka ng bato, meron ka makikita mga pira-piraso ng mga maliliit na, na bato pa na sa loob niya. Sa ibig sabihin, mixture siya kasi gawa siya sa dalawa o higit pang substances pero hindi siya magkahalo talaga. Kaya siya heterogeneous. Here's another example. Yan. Yung chocolate chips. May kita mo yung bread. May kita mo yung chocolate. Magkahalo siya, kaya siya, kaya siya mixture. But still, hindi siya evenly distributed at dalawang phases ng matter ang nakikita natin. So, heterogeneous siya. Meron tayong dalawang klase ng heterogeneous mixture. We have solution and suspension. Ah, sorry. We have, su we have suspension and colloid. Pag sinabi nating suspension, ito yung mga klase ng mixture na yung mga bagay na pupunta sa ilalim. Halimbawa, yung sago gulaman. Yung sago na pupunta sa ilalim. Yung gulaman na pupunta sa ibabaw, yung tubig. Nandun lang siya. Yung sago na pupunta sa ilalim. That is suspension. Pag sinabi naman nating colloid, yung mga particles dyan nakakalat. Halimbawa, yung mayonnaise na merong uh, pickles, yung pickles, nandun siya sa loob ng mayonnaise, pero nakakalat siya, hindi siya bumababa, hindi din siya umaangat. Nakasuspend siya doon sa gitna. Yun ang colloid. Pag sinabi naman natin homogeneous mixture, or ito tinatawag natin na solution. Two or more substances mix with uniform distribution. Example, salt water. Yung tubig na may asin. Kapag hinalo mo yan, hindi mo na makikita yung asin. Ang nakikita mo na lang, yung liquid. Pero pag tinikman mo siya, maalat. Ibig sabihin, nandun pa rin sa loob niya yung asin. Pero isang phase lang ng matter ang nakikita natin. Yun ay liquid. So, ibig sabihin, homogeneous siya. Another example is soft drinks. Ito. Pag sinabi nating soft drinks, merong isang 
tinunaw, may isang tumunaw dito. Ang tinunaw dito is carbon dioxide. Tinunaw siya sa tubig, kaya siya naging soft drinks. Brass is also an example. Ito yung metal. Metal alloy. Pag sinabi nating alloy, dalawang bakal na pinagsama. Sa so dito, metal alloy like brass. Ito yung ginagamit sa pagpiesta. This is an example of an homogeneous mixture or a solution kasi iisang phase lang ng matter ang nakikita natin. For this example, it is solid. Dito sa soft drinks, ang example, Ang face lang ng matter na nakikita natin ay liquid. Sa 14 karat gold, it is also an example of a homogeneous mixture kasi isang face lang ng matter na nakikita natin. Sa kailan siya magiging pure substance? Kapag yan ay 14 karat gold. Ah, sorry, 24 karat gold. Ibig sabihin nun, buo siya. Wala siyang kahalo. Doon siya nagiging pure substance. Again, Pag sinabi natin mixture, two or more pure substances that are combined together can be heterogeneous or homogeneous. Now, tingnan natin na kumain kung yung mga babanggitin ko sa inyong properties or statements ay sa siya nabibilang. Halimbawa, chemically combined, mixture, pure substance, or both. Chemically combined, nandito siya sa Pure substance. Kasi hindi na siya napaghihiwalay o mahirap sila paghiwalayin. Next, physically combined. Physically combined. Mixture. Kasi pwede mo siyang paghiwalayin kahit na sasalain mo lang o kaya gagamit ka ng magnet o kaya pwede mong um, paghiwalayin by means of picking. Mixture yon. Next. Combination of two or more substances. Yan. Mixture siya. Kasi kapag pure substance, composed of two or more elements, it can be the same or different elements. Pero pag combination of two or more substances, mixture yun. Next. Has a chemical formula. That is... Pure substance. Halimbawa, ang chemical formula ay nasa element at nasa compound. Halimbawa, CO2. Chemical formula yon ng carbon dioxide. And that is a compound. And compound is an example of pure substance. Can be separated by chemical means. Ito ay pure substance. Na paghihiwalay naman ang carbon sa oxygen, pero mahirap. Hindi mo siya pwede paghiwalay na hawakan mo lang o salahain mo siya. So, na paghihiwalay siya by means of chemical means. Next, they can be separated physically. That is, mixture. Halimbawa, um, yung salad, yung vegetable salad. Di ba pwede mong kuhanin yung lettuce sa pipino, sa ham, pwede mo siya pag Next, homogeneous. Homogeneous, nasa gitna siya. Sir, bakit siya nasa gitna? Kasi merong mga mixture na homogeneous. Halimbawa, yung salt water, homogeneous yun. Kasi isang phase lang ng matter ang nakikita natin. Yung soft drinks, homogeneous yun. Pero sa pure substances, such as element and compound, lahat sila homogeneous. Kasi isang phase lang ng matter ang lagi natin nakikita sa kanila. Next is... Examples are salt, gold, and water. Yan. That is pure substance. Examples are juice, salad, and salt water. That is... Mixture. Kasi, eh yung serious salt tsaka water, pure substance siya yun. Kasi doon sa example natin sa pure substance, magkahiwalay sila. Dito sa salt water, pinagsama na yan. Kaya siya naging mixture. Next one, heterogeneous. That is, mixture. Okay? Pag, 
para mas madali siya maintindihan, take a look at this graphic organizer. Now, matter can be classified into two, whether they can be separated chemically or by means of physically. If that is that can be separated by chemical change, that is a pure substance. If that can be separated by physical change, that is mixture. Now, pure substances can be classified into two. If it contains only one type of atom, that is an element. We have two types of element. If that is composed of only one type of atom or composed of two or more same atom. If that is one type, can be one type of atom. Halimbawa, um, gold. Kung isa lang ang atom niya, element siya. Pero kung dalawa ang atom niya, halimbawa, hydrogen, dalawang hydrogen, that is molecule, but still, that is still an element. If it is composed of two or more different types of atom, that is compound. Two or more the same, uh, two or more different atom, compound. Pero ang compound, tinatawag din nating molecule. Halimbawa, water molecule. Ang water is composed of hydrogen and oxygen. Dalawang hydrogen, isang oxygen. Matter can also be classified if that can be separated by physical means or mixture. Mixture can be classified into two. Whether kapag pinagsama mo siya, isa o dalawang phase ng matter na nakikita natin. Kapag isang phase ng matter, homogeneous. Kapag dalawang phase ng matter, heterogeneous. Meron tayong isang example ng homogeneous mixture and that is solution. Halimbawa ng solution, um, naghalo ka ng tubig ay ng asukal tsaka tubig. So that is solution. Kasi pag hinalo mo siya, isa lang ang nakikita mo. Liquid. Nawawala yung solid na sugar. When we say heterogeneous mixture, example yan is suspension. Tulad nung nabanggit ko kanina, yung sa gogulaman, pag suspension kasi napupunta sa ilalim yung mga particles. Yung, yung, gula, yung sago napupunta sa ilalim yung sa gogulaman. And then, colloid. Ex colloids are, colloids are an example na pan heterogeneous mixture. Hindi siya completely na nagahalo kasi yung kaso yung particles niya ay nakasuspend. Tulad ng binigay ko example kanina, yung mayonnaise na mayroong pickles, yung pickles, hindi siya bumababa, hindi siya tumataas, pero nandun na siya sa gitna ng mayonnaise, nakakalat siya. That is colloid. Again, sa pure substance, example niya are elements and compound. Sa mixture, ang example niya homogeneous and heterogeneous. Tignan natin ako, naiintindihan ninyo. Halimbawa, magbibigay ko ng example ng statements. Can be element or compound? Is it a mixture or pure substance? This is a pure substance. Kasi nga, di ba, ang pure substance, pwede siyang maging element or compound. Pwede din siyang element of compound. Ibig sabihin, yung compound, halimbawa, yung hydrogen, um, compound na water, yung element na nasa loob niya, is hydrogen and oxygen, yung element na yun is pure substance. Next, substances held together by physical force, not chemically. This is mixture. Why? Kasi pwede mo uli siyang paghiwa-hiwalayin. Halimbawa, uh, gravel and sand, bato at buhangin, pwede mo paghiwalayin yung bato sa buhangin. Next, no chemical change takes place. Walang nangyaring chemical change. This is still mixture. Kasi pwede mo pa rin makuha yung bawat isa. Wala nagbago dun sa mga substances. Has a chemical formula. Pure substance. Can be composed of one type of atom only. Pure substance. Kasi yung composed of one type of atom, element yan. They can be separated physically. This is mixture. Next, 
each item retains its own properties. Mixture. Halimbawa, yung tubig at asin. Kahit naghalo sila, nawala yung asin, pero yung alat ng asin nandun pa rin. Kaya hindi nawala yung asin. Nahalo lang siya. Examples are hydrogen, butane, alcohol, and salt. Pure substance. Examples are vinegar, soy sauce, and dishwashing liquid. Mixture. Can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. This is mixture. Okay? Here's another example. Alibaba. Classify the following substances are pure as pure substances or mixture. If that is a pure substance, classify it as either element or compound. If that is a mixture, homogeneous or heterogeneous. First one is salt. Salt is an example of pure substance and that is a compound. Mayonnaise is a mixture and that is a heterogeneous. So isang phase lang ng matter na nakikita namin sa mayonnaise. Dapat homogeneous siya. Pag tinignan niyo siya sa microscope, yung mga particles ng mayonnaise, hindi talaga siya totally na nagsasama. Vinegar is mixture and that is homogeneous. Pinaghalo siyang acetic acid at water. Helium is a pure substance and that is an element. Pancake, mixture and that is homogeneous. So that is distinguishing elements from uh, pure substance from mixture by means of set of properties. Now, this will serve as your, your attendance for today. So you will answer this on the comment section of this video. What you will do here is to classify the following description as for mixture or substances. Ang ilalagay lang, pure, si pure substances or, mi or mixture. Halimbawa, number one, Vincent fills the balloon with helium to prepare for his birthday party. What substance can be found on number one? Is it, an L is, is it a pure substance or a mixture? Number two, Grace makes a pitcher of lem lemonade for her visitors. What is the substance and is it a mixture or a pure substance? Next, Marion prepared vegetable salad for dinner. Royce add salt in frying egg. Rens clean the toilet with sodium bicarbonate. Kelvin applies alum to lessen her underarm perspiration. Jericho bought a diamond necklace for his girlfriend. Maricar cooks adobo. She put vinegar and soy sauce on it. Deo wants to donate blood for the upcoming Red Cross mass donation program. And number 10, Erica makes an ice cream. She used dry ice to freeze it. So again, you will answer this on the comment section. Your attendance depends on whether you answer on the comment section or not. Okay? So after this, you will answer your learning packet on pages on the week three. Uh, sorry, week four, unit one, week four, from pages twenty-five to twenty-nine. Okay, so that's all and. Good day, everyone.